Hope you guys are doing great. Um, it's been a while since I don't record, but I had something to talk to you guys about. Um, you guys, well, the ones that have been watching know I've been on this journey of not dyeing my hair and actually letting my gray hair out. And I hadn't done an update because um, nothing interesting had happened with that. Um, I've gotten used to it. Um, People around me, yes, have gotten used to it. Nobody has really um, made any comments that caused me to make a video. But two days ago, um, I went through a very weird experience. And I, I wanted to share this with everybody, especially, especially women out there. Um, I'm very tall, so people usually can't see the top of my head where my gray hair is, if that makes any sense. Um, but this Tuesday I was sitting somewhere and someone saw my gray hair, somebody close to me and somebody, yeah, somebody close to me, um, not a family member, but they're pretty close and they made a comment that really, really blew my mind. Um, I'm gonna show you guys first how far my hair is. This is how far my gray hair is. And I did say six months, but I'm not dying it yet because I told you guys I want to have that chunk. I'm going to dye the rest. I'm just going to leave that chunk of white hair. That is what I want. Um, I think it looks beautiful. I'm confident with it. It makes me feel good. So I think that's all that matters. Um, but this comment, right? Um, this person was like, wow, you have a lot of gray hair. And I was like, yeah. And somebody else was near us. And mind you, they were women and they were way older than me. They're like maybe 20 years older than me. And um, obviously they both got gray hair, but they both chose to dye it. And um, one told the other, um, yeah, and she's not planning on dyeing it. And the other one was like, what? You're not gonna dye your hair? Um, did you ask your husband? To which I was like, huh? I was like, yeah, I, I spoke to him about it. And she's like, he's fine with it. And I'm like, yeah, he, he is. To which this person told me, um, you know, he, he loves you and he will go along with anything that, that makes you happy. And I was like, okay. But this person didn't leave it there. This person actually told me that um, she didn't tell me to dye my hair, but she actually said, you know, you should keep yourself, you know, pretty because there's a lot of women out there and, you know, you have to be smart. To which I did reply, um, I am beautiful regardless of gray hair or not. Um, I actually feel the gray hair is something that can be beautiful. And to which this person um, told me, you know, you, you have a good man, but you, you have to take care of it because there's a lot of girls out there. I, I wish I had a specific words to explain how I felt hearing this from an older woman, um, but I don't. I don't have the words. All I can say about this is um, it made me upset just to know that that person, it came from a good place, I guess, <laughs> but that mentality of um, woman can be based in um, if your appearance is not good, your husband's going to cheat on you with another woman because I have an insight on this. Um, I have seen a lot of cheating in my life. Um, don't know if personally I have ever been cheated on, um, but I've seen lots of friends and family members get cheated on, and this is what I think. And this is my perspective on it. A man doesn't care if he has a beautiful, fit, dyed-haired, um, talented, intelligent woman at the time of cheating um i don't think cheating is determined by how a woman looks basically um because i have seen you know i have seen people who have left or have cheated on their girlfriends or on their wives on their whatever even women that have cheated on their husbands and their husband or wife have looked the part and the other person might not look like exactly how you would think 
because we tend to think that we're going to be cheated on or we're going to left, be left for a prettier, skinnier, uh, more intelligent, anything better than us. But at the time of the time when somebody's going to cheat, the person can be anything, anyone. Uh, the, and it will happen. So I don't think I should be spending my time and energy and worrying about that I'm going to be cheated on just because I chose to let my hair go gray because if that was the case then i will be dying my hair until i die because it's something natural um i don't think that your hair determines you i don't think your body determines you i just think that it's your personality um if i feel comfortable with my hair i'm gonna um put out confidence i'm gonna put out love I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put out all these good things that people around you are gonna gravitate towards. So if you feel good with yourself, it, it doesn't matter if you're fat, if you're extra skinny, if you have crooked legs, if you have crooked teeth, if you have anything, if you feel that there's anything wrong with you or not beautiful about you, as long as you feel confident and you love the way you are, I think the people surrounding you are gonna be attracted to that, including your husband or wife so for a person to think that if they don't keep themselves in check that that's first of all that's very <sighs> energy consuming if i'm gonna wake up every day thinking that if i don't brush my hair if i don't put makeup on if i don't dress a certain way my husband's gonna stop loving me um for me that is not love again this is my personal opinion i know there's a lot of people out there that think just like this person did but another thing i wanted to bring out is that if you see a person that is content of how they are and it's working for them do not give your opinion when it's not needed because it's not productive it's not productive for you because that's how it works for you that's how you feel um and it's not productive to the other person because they're fine the way they are i mean i'm not saying if you see somebody that's going through a hard time or it's struggling with something that you don't give advice that's great but if you see a person that is just in a journey like in my life right now there's two things i've been on and one of them is my gray hair because i used to feel that my beauty and my confidence um depended on me dyeing my hair every two weeks and covering up my gray hair because gray hair is ugly but now it's like if i die if i don't die i feel the same way i feel beautiful i feel confident i, I actually i think it's helped me because to know that other people around me feel like this is something ugly and that I can feel that it's something um, beautiful and I can actually walk out the streets and rock my gray hair, it makes me feel more confident about myself. And um, the other one is my um, living a healthier lifestyle. I have gotten so many like advice, but thank God I'm the type of person that like I'll learn from whatever anybody needs to say to me even if somebody says something mean to me i'll take the good out of it um which is the best way to live um but yeah sometimes it's funny because you're doing something that's working for you you're feeling good about it but yet there's people that because we tend to just want other people to do things a certain way because we think it's right we want them to do it um i've been experiencing that because i live with other two people and one of them i have tried to like push them to do the changes the other one has just gone along with it and i have noticed as in when you do something and it, it brings results to your lives other people who are into it and are watching you they're gonna go along with it you don't have to push people to do things you just have to be an example do it yourself the best way to to get things done the the best way to cause changes and i'm not just talking like in yourself or around you but like in general in the world is by you starting to do it you cannot sit and complain about something and expect for everything else to change no you have to take ownership and you cause a change and eventually other people will follow so 
And that's what I think about that. And if you're a woman out there and you feel insecure, you feel ugly, or you're struggling with um, feeling that your husband might leave you for somebody else, let me tell you something. Don't work on your outside only. Work in your inside. Um, work in your relationship with God. Because a key to my life is that, like, if I feel ugly any day, if I feel sad, if I feel any certain way, I go to God first. And once I get that peace from him, once I get that feeling that everything's okay from him, then that transmits to people around me. And it does. Like, when you're okay, everything around you is okay. And that's something I have experienced. And um, if you have gray hair and you want to leave your gray hair out, do it. Like, it doesn't matter what people say. Um, There's a lot of trends out there that I find ugly, but because one person felt it it was good they did it they carried it out with confidence and everybody followed there's so many trends out there sit down and look at all these trends that are out there and some of them you'll be like why in the world is all these people doing this it took one person to do it and to do it with confidence and make it okay so that's why i'm making it okay that if you have gray hair and you want to let your hair just be gray it's okay. It's beautiful. It's something different and it's something that you need to have confidence to do. Not anybody can do it. It's easy to go buy a hair dye and just dye your hair to cover up something. It's not easy to let your hair grow out and be vulnerable to people around you, to critics. I mean, it's been a great experience. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'm like people, but others i'm like yeah i like this it's building my character and if i can go through this that's the outer um shell then there's things in the, from the inside that can be um brought out to to help people so that's all i have to say for today if you have any questions or comments please leave them below i really want you guys to especially the girls let me know what you think about this like that you have to like well in my personal Situation. Do you guys think that if I keep letting my hair out, my husband's going to cheat on me? Or you guys think it's fine? Uh, I mean, there are some girls out there that have been married longer than me. Even men, like, give me your advice. If you're a man and you're like, yeah, your husband's going to cheat on you because you have gray hair, um, then comment below. below. Remember to subscribe and like and just share so other people can see this. I bet you there's a whole bunch of women out there thinking the same thing as that lady. Um, And that's horrible. But have an amazing day. It's beautiful outside in Florida. So go outside and enjoy this beautiful day. So see you guys next time. Bye.